$1.99 a month. WDAZ News, honored by the Minnesota Associated Press. A new spacesuit designed by a team of University of North Dakota students and those from other colleges around the area was tested recently in the North Dakota Badlands of all places. It is a prototype of what could be the next generation of spacesuits used by NASA astronauts. Project manager Pablo de Leon joins us this evening at 5. Good to have you with us. We also have the, the uh, prototype here, mm -hmm. right? Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this. This was designed by not just UND students, you reminded me. Uh, correct. Yes. We uh, received last year a NASA grant of hundred thousand dollars to develop this suit as a part of um, what NASA calls a um, workforce development program so not only UND is participating even if we were the main um, the main school associated with the development of the suit mm -hmm. and, and it was tested a few days ago in the Badlands of all places right. we have some pictures of that I believe mm -hmm. uh, tell yeah. us how that went well, well actually, first of all why why the Badlands of all well because some of the of the characteristics of the terrain are very close to the ones that you can find in some places on Mars. So uh, actually we found that uh, it was a great place and also inside the state where we could um, do this, uh, this preliminary testing, which by the way, uh, by the way it, it went really well. Mm -hmm. uh, we can see some images here of the testing of the suit. This is not the complete suit, it's just the, the internal layers of the suit. Uh, the suit was later uh, covered with the outer garment to protect it from dust, but uh, you can see there the, um, the inner garment, which is the one that allows the astronaut to have plenty of mobility. Mm -hmm. it's, it's inflated, is that correct? Is that the right way to put that? Correct. In, in space or on a planetary surface, like on the Moon or Mars, you need to have it inflated in order to keep the astronaut alive uh, inside the suit. So it's very difficult to uh, have good mobility once the space suit is inflated. So you have to be really creative trying to find ways to keep the, the human body inside the suit and allow mobility to do the tasks that you are supposed to do. I was reading something about this uh, earlier today and it's, it's in addition to an engineering uh, sort of thing, it's, it's a sort of a creative process as well. Yes, yes. Uh, it's a little bit of art and a, and a lot of engineering because you have to understand how the human body uh, moves so you have to learn a lot about physiology and also how to, to keep the, the body uh, alive and healthy during a, a, a long exploration of, uh, of other planets. We just have a second left, but what's next for this project? Well, we're going to continue doing this, and the idea is to create a laboratory for uh, human space flight, and especially space suit design here at the UND. Pablo, nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you for bringing you. in you your friend here, and uh, good luck with the project. Thank you very much. Still to come this evening at 5, desperate action taken by prisoners at Guantanamo Bay, and next, more on the movie that has everyone talking, our weekend movie preview, when News at 5 continues. Thank you.